coming. This is uh, Tuesday the 28th of April. Today's workout is Gone Your Cell and it is for time. So, looks pretty simple. You probably know by now, the more simple things look, the trickier they might become. So, you've got 60 deadlifts, 60 hang power cleans and 60 shoulder to overhead to get through. What you're going to do is you're going to divide this up any way you see fit. So, you don't have to ask me or check with somebody what the best way to do it is. The best way to do it is the way you do it, okay? So you might go 60 deadlifts, 60 hand power cleans, 60 shoulder to overhead, or you might go 30, 30, 30, you might go 20, 20, 20. Completely up to you, you don't even need to do it like that. You could do 60 deadlifts and 30 hand power cleans, 30 shoulder to overhead. Doesn't matter as long as you complete all the work. So, the clock starts at the 3, 2, 1, go and then finishes when you get every single rep done. Okay, so deadlifts can be done with whatever kit you've got. So it's a 20 kilo kettlebell. It just sits just in between, uh, in between the toes. Make sure you brace your abs, push your hips back behind you, squeeze your armpits shut, so if you can tickle you from behind. Brace your core all the way down, bending at your hips predominantly, and then a little bend of your knees, just enough to be able to pick the weight up. Stand right up at it, at it, with it, stand right up with it. Okay, so hips back, heels down, grip the ground with your toes, hips back, lean over at your hips mostly until you can touch the ground with the weight, stand right back up. Now that's not going to really change regardless of what weight you use. You could use a dumbbell in each hand if you've got two dumbbells that maybe aren't all that heavy so you want both weights. In that case, they're going to touch the ground either side of your feet, okay? So what I would do with that is when you go to let them touch the ground, just let them kind of drop down, okay? Rather than holding my, them like that to touch the ground, just let them hang down. And then you're just trying to get the head of the dumbbell to touch the ground, okay? So you can do this with a bar, of course, okay? So if you've got a barbell, Feel free to do this with bar, be careful of the shoulder to overhead because if you've got one bar with the weight on it, there's a tiny wee spider coming down here. Come on my little guy, come on, come on, you'll end up in my mouth. No. Okay, um, <laughs> if you've only got one bar then the shoulder to overhead could get too heavy if you've thought more about the deadlifts and hang power cleans. Okay, so for the hang power cleans with dumbbells. You're just gonna push your hips back, sticking your butt out, and you're gonna lean over until the weight comes to your knees. Okay, so uh, nice, and, uh, nice and controlled through your core. Have a little look up. You're gonna drive up through your legs, all the way up until you stand right up, okay? And then the dumbbells are gonna come up and round, and if you didn't drop, then the dumbbells wouldn't make it onto your shoulders, okay? So you're gonna come up, round, and you're gonna have a little drop under, and that'll allow you to catch the dumbbells on your shoulders. So up, drop, stand. That's for your hand power clean. If you've only got one dumbbell, then that's fine, but what I would do is I would let it come down between your knees, okay, and do it that way. And then for the shoulder to overhead, weight on each shoulder, use your legs, 60 reps is going to feel like a lot, use your legs, a little dip and a push through your legs. Now if you don't have dumbbells, kettlebells, barbell, same stuff but with your backpack or your core bag or whatever it is that you've got. So for the deadlifts, touching it off the ground, okay, for the hang power cleans, lean over until it's at knee height, elbows underneath and stand, and then the shoulder to overhead. So, just three movements. Uh, you can do this any way you want. Have fun with it, and I'll see you later, bye.